Okay, a question nine. Uh, the diagram shows a rectangle. The area of the rectangle is 90 centimeters squared, and the length is x plus 4, the length the longer one, and the width the shorter one is x subtract 5. Set up and solve an equation to work out the value of x. Now, if you know that the area is 90 and you know the length and the width, you could say that the length x plus 4 multiplied by the width x subtract 5 must be 90. Let's expand this brackets. That multiplied by, sorry, I'll do it over here where there's a bit more space. So x plus 4 multiplied by x subtract 5 must be 90. Let's do x times that and x times that. I get x squared subtract 5x and then I get plus 4x subtract 20. Plus 4x subtract 20 and all of this in our equation is 90 collect like terms, x squared, negative 5x plus 4x is negative x, subtract 20 is 90. I can't solve a quadratic equation until one side is 0, so I'm going to subtract 90 off both sides. So I get x squared, subtract x, and subtract 110 is equal to 0. How does this factorise? Well, I've got to think of two numbers that multiply to negative 110 and add up to negative 1. With a bit of luck, if you think of the factors of 110, you should think negative 11 times uh, 10. They multiply to negative 110, and negative 11 plus 10 is equal to negative 1. Okay, so therefore this factorizes to x subtract 11, x plus 10 is 0. So x is 11, or x is negative, 11, uh, negative 10. Now you can ignore this one here because you can't have a length that's negative, so this must be our x. So therefore, our x is equal to 11. Now let's check it works. If x was 11, this thing here would be 15, and this thing here would be 11 subtract 5, which would be equal to 6, and 6 times 15 is indeed 90. We got it.